Back in 2014, she told me she met someone. I thought it's finally it, someone strong enough to handle her, but strong enough to love her at the same time. Then she broke the news to me, that is a gypsy boxer. <laughs> Once I met him, I realised the only thing gypsy about him was his haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, he seemed like he had stole my sister's heart and made her happy. James has been there for Cassie through some of the worst and best times of her life. Though she is an easy person to deal with, you stuck by her and helped her through it all, so thanks for that. Cass, I know that Mum's looking down on you today and has been for the last three years. She'd be proud of the woman you turned into and the mum you've become to hear it. When James asked me to be one of his best men, I didn't really fancy it, but I thought it'd be the last chance to get a meal and a drink out of James. <laughs> I knew Cassie was the one for James, as soon as they first met. He stopped coming fishing, stopped coming out, stopped coming boxing, and eventually stopped ringing and texting. We'd like to wish James and Cassie all the very best to a long and lasting marriage. Please all raise a glass to Mr and Mrs Lovely. <laughs> You've definitely had two moves with me. You've got this, all right? Have you got your rings? Yeah, I've got the rings in my hand. Don't get married. Shaking work. <laughs> You're the person I rely on the most to pick me up when I'm down and tell me when I'm being stupid, kick me into gear when I need to be motivated. Not only are you my wife, you're most importantly my best friend and I love you.